that you were going to be starting? Um, really today, just uh, as we started practicing and I started working with the ones. That's really when I kind of figured that I might be starting, which we haven't really finalized it yet. So maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Well, Coach Chisholm said you were. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So that's when I found out that I practice. I mean, I mean, exciting it is to, 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 I mean, you know, to, have, to have that opportunity. Man, it's, well, it, it really hit me today. I was like, man, you know, this is it. You know, this is my opportunity to really show what I can do. You know, everybody's, everybody's looking at me, and I got to gotta show up. Do you, are you, do you think you're ready to execute whatever is? No, oh, mo most definitely. Do? Most definitely. I practice, we practice every week knowing that we are one play away from getting in the game. So you got to practice like a starter, even if you're a backup. Kyle used the word perfectionist when, when he talked about to you. Is that, is that kind of just the way it is? That's the, that is the way it, it is. The way it is. It's the way Coach Leffler wants it to be. It's the way Coach Grimes wants it to be. It's the way I want it to be. I'm trying to be perfect. What's the biggest changes? I mean, for you guys as a center in this offense, I mean, what's, what was the toughest thing to, to, to transition in this offense? I want to say it wasn't really going under center. It was more the huddle part, being the huddle, being the guy that has to set the huddle, and you know that everybody looks to. It's kind of a different role from Malzahn's offense. You know, something just just takes a little while to get used it, to. Just a little bit. How much is it, does it help you to have John and, and Chad next to you guys? That loads. Play? It helps loads to have those guys that have done it before. It helps so much. Uh, for example, if I miss something, they're always right there to correct me, and it, it helps a lot. What games did you play in last year? Um, I played in all 13 doing special teams, punt. Oh, at center? Oh, at center, I played in Ole Miss. Does having been out there at least Ole Miss and even on special teams help you from the standpoint of knowing the speed of the game and those kinds of things? Definitely. I think it definitely will. Um, while I don't think it'll be as fast, well, I don't think it'll be quite as slow as it was when I went against Ole Miss or any of the other snaps I took, I do think it'll help prepare me for what's coming. Have you gotten some support from your teammates? Oh, yeah. It was definitely. I've gotten text messages, phone calls all weekend. So. Yeah. What are they telling you? It's it's your time. It is your time to step up. We need you. When you uh, when you watch Clemson defensively, what what kind of jumps out to you about their front? They're definitely a read type front. They're not really a fire off the ball, come up field. So it's a, it's a little bit different blocking them from our defense. Our defensive line really gets up field, so it's just a little bit of an adjustment there. When you talk about what made you decide to come to Auburn? What made me decide to come to Auburn? The family, family atmosphere. I love it here. It's great. You want to be a doctor, is that right? Yes, sir. I mean, the, the difficulty of, of preparing for that and playing football, is this something, just time management, is that what it's all about? It's all it is. It always comes down to time management. If you can handle that, as hard as it is, you can get it done. Are you double majoring? I'm not. I'm just doing biomedical sciences okay. and concentrating in pre-med. How long have you wanted to be a doctor? How long? Since I've been like a kid. Since I've been a little kid. My dad was a doctor, so I always looked up to him. And he really affected me, deciding to be a doctor. You're talking about your recruiting a little bit. I know you're kind of a late add to that signing class. What, was, I mean, what were you looking at before I came along? Um, there was Navy, Air Force. Duke, ECU, and Duke was really the other school that I was really considering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, What do you think will be going through your mind as uh, as you guys get on the field and you know warm up and, and getting ready Saturday night? I'm I'm not really sure yet. I haven't really thought about that far ahead yet. I'm taking it day by day. When you were making the decision, I mean, some of those schools that you mentioned are very, you know, high academic. Was, was it hard to make a decision between football and, you know, getting the education you wanted to be a doctor? Most definitely. It was pretty difficult, but like I said, once I got on campus here and got around the coaches, the players, the people, the family atmosphere, I knew this is where I wanted to go.
Do you think, do you think, you know, the studying you have to do, how, how easy was it for you to pick up this playbook and kind of learn everything? Um, I'm not going to say it was really easy, but it wasn't really hard either. I mean, it's still, you still have your gap schemes, your zone schemes, your man schemes. It's the same in every offense, and you just adjust to whatever the play call is. So the mental side of football has kind of always come easy to you? I, I guess you could say that.